Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, if you guys don't already know me. And today I'm going to be doing a sophomore year reflection. I did a freshman year reflection, so if you want to go watch that first, you can click up here on this card or I will have the link in the description down below. So I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I did jot down some stuff and it seems like a lot. <laughs> so brace yourselves and let's get started. So I do want to warn you guys, this is going to be kind of out of order. I just kind of jotted down anything that came to my head at the time. First off this semester, I started valuing my advisor's advice a lot more because I am in my major. I am a radio television broadcast generalist. I did not want to make a mistake by putting a class that I didn't need um, onto my schedule because then I would just be here for longer and be paying more for something that I didn't really need. Some of my tips that I learned while I was making my schedule is that if you are going to pick an afternoon class, then you have to make sure it's something interesting that you're not going to be too tired to sit through because afternoon is pretty much after lunch. And if you're anything like me, I get super tired after I eat. But if it is a class that I actually enjoy, then I probably won't have that hard of a time paying attention. Like I took advertising at 1.30 this year and that wasn't too bad. I mean, sometimes it felt like forever, but at least it was interesting. Definitely give yourself a lunch break. I know you might wanna do back-to-back -back classes and I did have three back-to-back -back classes this semester on Thursday, which sounds bad, but it really wasn't. That morning I would just eat breakfast a lot earlier. Maybe I would pack some apples and drink a smoothie in the morning. But if you're in a sorority and you have meal plan at a designated time, then definitely try to work your classes around that because then you won't feel tempted to spend money on food. So freshman year and early sophomore year, I loved online classes. I pretty much took every online class that I was able to take. The mentality that I had at that time was absolutely so stupid. I thought that I was in such a cool city and I wanted to explore Orlando and like if I didn't have class one day, I could go to the beach or I could go home early, which that is definitely a valid excuse. But obviously everyone else, like all my friends didn't have that mentality, so they all had classes when I didn't. Um, so that was kind of stupid on my part. I'm definitely not saying I regret taking online classes because I don't. I would still take online classes. But just the mentality that I thought people were going to be as free as I was was not true. I finally learned to not buy textbooks at full price. There are so many resources like Chegg. Even Amazon has textbook rentals. There's this place here at UCF called Textbook Solutions. They sell them for so much cheaper. You can even rent them and I like doing that personally because then I won't have to sell them after I'm done with them. I can just give it back and get that clutter out of my room. So this year my friends went out a lot more on the weekdays. I definitely had to get used to that. I was always the type of person that would never hang out with their friends on weekdays because it kind of messes with my mind and makes me think it's the weekend but it's gonna happen and people are gonna celebrate their birthdays on the weekdays so you just kind of have to get used to it and plus usually socials are on Tuesdays or Thursdays. This year was definitely different friends wise because I left spring semester thinking oh my gosh I have this group of girls that I'm really close with but then when I came back for fall everyone started getting really busy they got into their majors, they were more involved, they had boyfriends, so all that kind of just like factored in. So it was just hard to get like everyone together because everyone was just so busy, which kind of sucked, but you know, life happens. I've definitely started to roll into class without makeup and a big t-shirt and some norts. I know that's normal for pretty much every college student out there, but when I first came to UCF in summer B, I would wear a cute outfit every day, wake up super early, do my makeup, do my hair, but I definitely got over that this semester. I finally came to the realization that getting ready takes so much time and that I could actually use that time for more sleep. So the only times I really get ready in the morning is when I have to do something social later that evening, whether it's going to pan at three or going to a social later that night or tabling at the student union, just anything that I see anyone else but my sorority sisters, I will definitely put on makeup in the morning. I always thought it was the weirdest thing when people did homework in their bed, but unfortunately I turned into that type of person. Now I never do my homework at my desk just because it's so cramped up back there. My room is so tiny that there's like no room to do anything in here. So now when I want to be productive, I usually go to the student union or literally anywhere else because I feel like my room is so, first of all, cluttered 
and second of all small to do anything in. I was definitely upset at myself because I wasn't making as many sit down videos, makeup tutorials for my YouTube channel. I definitely took on more vlogging style videos which I also really like but I also did want to continue making these videos that helped other people and I just feel like the reason for that is because this place is so small. My camera and my lights right now are literally taking up like almost all of the floor space in here. So I feel like I just can't get anything done. It's a dungeon, there's no natural light. And I just didn't think like this background had potential of being cute. I just like hung up that satin thing really quick. I was just over my gallery wall and it was kind of coming time for me to move out anyway. So I was just like, what's the point of redoing it? Um, so that kind of definitely decreased my motivation to make these videos, but don't you guys worry this summer my videos are going to be so awesome. I'm so excited to go home this summer and regain that motivation. This year I didn't really go out all that much unless it was like a social or a philanthropy event. I just realized that I don't really have fun unless I know a lot of people that are there with me. I know at a lot of other college bars you don't have to pay cover but unfortunately at UCF you do. Unless it says free cover from 9 to 10 or something like that, it does add up and you could literally buy a movie and some really good ice cream for the same price and have a better time. So that's what I did. As you guys know, this semester I actually started the Kayla It Signs workout program and unfortunately, I actually stopped and it's not really shocking to me that I did stop. I'm just more disappointed in myself because I actually thought that I was going to do it for the whole 12 weeks. I think it was at around 7 or 8 weeks that we were just like, peace out Kayla, like I am so over it. Um, I did it with my friend and we were just like on the same page. It honestly got boring because it was just the same stuff over and over again. We knew what to expect and obviously it kept getting a little bit harder and the workout literally said to like push two benches together and like do these random weird workouts. This year I've had so many cool opportunities open up for me. For example, I had a whole two page spread in Trend Magazine, which is now Letter Magazine. And I also got to film a campus tour with UCF. So the person that controls all of the UCF social media reached out to me and asked me to do a collaboration with them. And it was like literally the coolest thing ever because they actually had a videographer and he edited the video as well. So basically I was just in front of the camera and I didn't really have to do all the behind the scenes stuff. So that was really cool. I also got to be mic'd up, so that was awesome. Last semester, I actually was on UCS talk show, Tonight's the Night, and I also talked about my YouTube channel and how I got into all that there. And I will link that down below too because that is actually on YouTube. My roommate, my friends, my sorority sisters all came to support me for that. So it's really cool like seeing them in the audience and just getting to see all the behind the scenes of a talk show. I don't know, I thought that was really cool. It looked a lot bigger in person than you would imagine. I also turned 20 this year, so I'm officially out of my teens. I felt pretty indifferent about it. It's just kind of crazy how years are flying by. Like, I remember I got stopped by the police officer because my license was expired by like literally like two days or something like that anyways she asked me what age I was and this was like maybe like in December so I just turned 20 and I never know my age like I, I always have to think about it it's the weirdest thing so she was like so how old are you like let me see your ID or whatever and I was like nine 19 and I like stuttered and then I was like oh wait like 20 <laughs> So it was like, she literally thought I was lying. She was like, you don't know how old you are. And I was like, I literally just turned 20, like, sorry. It's kind of like when the year changes and you still write 2016 on your papers. This past January, me and Ryan celebrated our four year anniversary. I'm really proud of us for making it long distance as long as we have been. And I have no doubts in us making it through college. So I'm very happy. So I actually got a job and it was at a boutique and Unfortunately, it didn't work out because she was kind of overstaffed. I learned a lot about wholesale buying and how you're supposed to like set up things to make people want to buy them and it was a really good experience even if it was for around five days. The owner actually had a section of her store almost empty. She actually asked me if I wanted to rent out the space and buy some clothes and sell them in there, but I just... You know, I am I was literally like 19 at the time and I was just like, oh my god, like, what? A section in your boutique? I think I felt a little overwhelmed. I definitely could have done it, but I just had so many other things going on in my life, so. But it was definitely a cool opportunity to be offered. 
So unfortunately, in the beginning of the school year in August, my parents actually finalized their divorce. And it's not really like I'm home to be directly affected by it because they were already kind of separated before they finalized it. So it was kind of just like I knew it was coming all this time. It's just definitely gonna be kind of weird going back home over the summer. My mom's not gonna be in the house I'm staying at. I'm always the type of person that kind of wants things to be perfect and in my head I'll just tell myself oh it's gonna be okay like everything's fine everything's perfect but in reality it's not but I know that both of my parents are obviously happier now so I'm definitely happy for them but I mean I do realize things are probably just gonna be extremely different. <laughs> my sister Nisha graduated college in August and she moved back home to Atlanta and she has a job she's just trying to get hours for PA school and it definitely made me realize that I want to stay here as long as possible and that the real world is super scary so I am not trying to graduate anytime soon. I know I have like two more years but junior year sounds like it's very close to senior year and even that just scares me. So on my spring break trip I actually got into my first car accident ever and it was definitely extremely scary. I didn't really talk about it much in my spring break vlog because I didn't want to like pull out my camera and just like talk about it right when we got in the car crash, but that, that is just the weirdest thing. Um, so I just kind of like typed it out. But basically I was sleeping when it happened in the back seat and it was the scariest thing to wake up to, just like smoke in your face and like the loudest screeching sound ever but I'm so thankful that we are all okay. We made it to the cabin just in time for the bachelor finale, so we were all fine, but you know, unfortunately both the cars got totaled and they were both my friend's cars. So that is all I had jotted down on my notes and I'm just so happy to be going home for the summer, just getting to chill at home with my dog. It's kind of bittersweet ending my sophomore year because I am moving out of this place and I'm definitely gonna miss my roommate, Laura, so, so much. And I don't know how I'm gonna like downgrade because I'm gonna be living in a room with someone else But I think it's gonna be a really cool experience. So I'm excited for that and some new changes in my life So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys